What's going on today, guys? In, in this episode, that's that's right. We're in fact dealing with the ice machine, but uh, I have hopefully the correct parts. Um, the issue that I'm having, as you'll see in a second, when the ice is, I'll show you in a second. Let's get this torn apart. All right, so the issue we're having, as you can see in here, that is one of the sensors and it keeps getting knocked down out of its um, designated location every time when the ice dumps, it just catches it. And I believe it's because the, uh, the bit that's wrapped in white Teflon tape, that is worn out so it doesn't actually hold in place anymore. Um, so instead of trying to wrap it some more, build up, do something stupid, uh, I'm just going to replace both sensors. So this is actually pretty easy. Uh, they just plug into the sides here into slots three and four. Um, three is the black and white wire that goes to this sensor in here. And then the red and black sound wires are on this side right here. And they just feed around back side of the machine. Remember that four is the other side. Sensor number one is done. Sensor number two. left side sensor was actually still stuck in there pretty well but we're gonna replace them both a little bit different of a wire but the connection should still be the same and the important part is you plug it back into the correct spot and that was Three is this side, he hopes. <laughs> That's why you take a picture before you start a project. I'm just going to set that off to the side. Well, sediment, silt, gunk. Put that back in place. Set this back in place so it doesn't splash. And then we plug in the unit. That plug needs to be replaced because it's sketchy. And it's freeze. So we'll give this a little bit and come back and check on it. Okay, it's been running for a few minutes. It's still running. Um, it's just making ice. It's working to make ice. We're gonna put this back together and we'll come back and check it maybe later today or probably in a day or two to make sure that that sensor uh, on this side hasn't been knocked down again and uh, causing problems. So everything was going great with the ice machine and then it wasn't. Um, the bin was full, sensors were still in place, and then I got a phone call 
that the ice machine was running, but it wasn't actually making any ice. The control board went bad just for the switch for the fan, to tell the fan to turn on to help cool everything off. So it was trying to make ice, but it wasn't cooling off enough to actually freeze, and it was just running and running and running and not actually making ice. Had a technician out last night. He took a look at it. He, made, he was able to jump the wires and to get it to work until that board comes in, which could be anywhere from two weeks to, who knows? <clears throat> but that's gonna, that's gonna wrap up this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.